I've entitled this Backyard Concrete Barbecue Pad Construction. Problem is, we wanted a hard surface uh, with no mud to do our summer barbecuing in our backyard. I've got some photos here of the corner. It's like uh, 12 feet wide, 9 feet deep, and I have it all formed up, and you can see the rebar and the drain pipes there. And then in this last photo, I got the brick holding the rebar up. Here's some video of the forms. You see the concrete holding the rebar up and those drain pipes, they uh, extend the weep holes from the retaining wall through the concrete and then out into the yard. So the retaining wall with the weep holes, so I put some uh, PVC, stuck them into the weep holes and have them go through the concrete. I want to that out from them on. The process I used was to get a bag of concrete mixing in the mixer and then go uh, move the concrete around in the forms that I had previously dumped and then rinse and repeat. and then rinse and repeat as they say, do it again. After the forms are full, I like to wait one hour before screeding, regardless of the temperature. One hour is a pretty good time. I forgot to film me doing the screeding, but here is the right side of my forms, full of concrete. I waited an hour and then I used a two by four to screed or strike off the concrete level with the top of the form. Then wait one more hour before edging and troweling. And again, this is a rule of thumb regardless of the temperature. One hour works pretty good. I couldn't reach across the entire slab, so I built me a contraption out of wood with a piece at the end that rests on the back form so I don't mess up the surface of the concrete. And then I, there you see me placing it, and I can get out there with my knees on those board, cross boards and do my edging and my finish troweling. After you've completed the first edging and troweling, wait one more hour before doing the final edging and troweling. Again, regardless of temperature, this has worked great for me, whether it's 100 degrees out or 60 degrees out. And now for a quick project summary. The tools I used were a cement mixer, and there's information on the one I used in the description below, a two inch by four inch screed, a six inch edge tool, and a 16 inch trowel. And there's a photo of the edge tool and trowel for reference. The process I used was to mix and place the concrete in the forms, wait one hour, then screed the concrete level with the top of the forms, wait one hour, do the first edging and troweling, wait one hour, and then do the final edging and troweling. And yes, that's right, three hours once you have the concrete in the forms until you're done. But don't get impatient, timing is very important. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. To review more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.